the forecast right where we left off in terms of Sunday in the last visit, because even though it is going to be more sunshine than anything else today, right by the time we get to like late morning, and we've got high clouds out there now, but they're going to clear out and then it's really just we don't even have much marine layer except for a little bit of a patch that will develop right along the coast. You can see that shows up right here as we get into the after late afternoon today. And that's just to start because look what it's going to do for Monday morning. Monday morning, of course, uh, tomorrow morning is another day. But when you wake up, it will be a marine layer gray start for most of us. Interestingly enough, though, Monday, we're going to start the warming trend. You're going to see that in the 70 forecast. It's going to be a little bit more of a classic summer pattern. So even though you get the marine layer in those North Bay valleys to start the day on Monday, there's something else at play, which is going to start increasing the numbers for us. So we're going to go back to the map where we can watch how warm air or cold air, but in this case, it's the warm air in deep red, how it moves through the atmosphere. This was our Saturday. And as we take a look at Sunday, watch what happens here little bit of an upsurge into Monday. Do you see what how we've pulled in more of the yellow and the orange here? So there's a little bit of a migration now for the center of heat across the western U.S. to start nudging back our way and to start increasing the temperatures. Watch what happens when we let this advance into Tuesday. You can see there's even a little more of it here now. That's our warming trend. Numbers are going to start going up for us. So here's the comparison. Sunday for today, your daytime highs, even though they're just like Saturday, they are also right on the mark for average for this time of year. This is right where you should be as we head into this first week of June. So or at the end of the worst week, uh, first week. Now we're heading to the second week. But I digress. Let's take it and, and get to the point of this whole discussion. Sunday is now going to transition to Tuesday and you won't be able to miss it because look at the whole different color scheme, which has now showed up. Tuesday will be the warmest day of this coming week. But that's kind of a fast jump from the daytime highs we were just looking at today to get the, to the day after tomorrow and you're already back near 100 degrees in places like Antioch. It'll be 96 in Concord, 92 in Livermore. Monday, we kind of start this transition where the numbers will have already begun climbing. And the big picture view shows you, here's that deck of high clouds that we've got out there this morning. And then that clears out. And then you remember how we were seeing the marine layer come in on Monday? Look at that beautiful show right there. This is the return of that widespread June gloom, which will hug the coast and really fill in for most of us on Monday. But it's the warm up that matters more than that. So here's your 70 forecast. If you look at Oakland from 67 degrees today to 72 tomorrow and then near 80 on Tuesday, of course, you'll cool back down on Thursday. Everybody has that same pattern. North Bay valleys, you'll top out at 92 on Tuesday. It's 11 degrees warmer than you'll be today. But then you are going to cool all the way back down to 77 by Thursday. It's a short lived cool down, though. You probably noticed already there is a warm up coming our way for next weekend. So what we have with that drop and the Inland East Bay is a really good example of it from 96 on Tuesday to 78 on Thursday. What we have there is a very short lived drop because we are going to start warming back up again by next weekend.